He's the beautiful doctor who turns up temperatures on Chicago Med. You're talking about Tori DeVito, right? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, well, she <laughs> is fire, and she is here with us today. <laughs> I did hear congestion in your lungs, which means that most likely you've already developed pneumonia. So what happens next? With your weakened immune system, I'm afraid it's only a matter of time before the virus starts attacking your other organs. Wait. Are you saying this is going to kill me? Measles are going to kill me. See, I knew you liked Tori. That's why <laughs> we lined her up for today. Right? All right. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> what an introduction. <laughs> well, Tori, welcome yeah. to the show. Thank welcome you. Welcome to the show. So, yeah, your character on Chicago Med. Yes. Everyone seems to fall in love with her. Wow, that's Anna. really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I, she, she tries her best. She tries to be the best doctor, mom, well, ex fiance now <laughs> that she possibly can be. So she's got that it factor, so everybody wants her. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, they write her really ra well. Yeah. That must be because, I mean, you're a beautiful woman. I well, mean, you, you look stunning, so. Gosh, my God, the compliments on here. I want to come here every morning. Oh, okay. please, will you? Just wake up, have you guys say a few things, then I'll go back into the real world. <laughs> you know, that's what we do after guests leave. We call them home, tell them how beautiful they are. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, any more hookups this season? Hookups? Well, mmm. You know, I kind of just, she's taking a break from the hookups this season. Nice. You know what I mean? She had the ex-fiance last year. She got left at the altar. All those things happened. And this year, the guy slipped a ring on her finger while she was in a coma. And then she found out that he did that. So she wasn't engaged. And this one's always putting his nose in her business. And she's like, <laughs> you know what? I need a break. That's a lot, though. I know. So she missed up the whole moment. I know. What's yeah. the point? Yeah. I was like, the girl needs therapy. She needs a little bit. Right? A little bit. Do you think that's why people love Chicago Med so much? It's like you've got the medical drama, but then you get the drama. Totally. Yeah. I think it's like our show is like the perfect 50-50 blend of we honor the medical, but we also have that juicy drama that I think people love to tune into. Do friends mm -hmm. ask you for real medical advice because you play that on television? <laughs> so you know what? It's actually been kind of like pickup line situations where they're like, hey, Doc, and I'm like, oh, no, we can't go there. Also, oh, if you got a problem, I can call 911. That's about it. So right. that's all you want me to do. So people think they're being cute when they meet you like, yes. hey, Doc, what's up? Yes, and also it's that <laughs> nice thing where I want to, like, you know, be kind and, you know, smile back, but I also want to be like, Hey, you're not the first person to use that way. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what is it like behind the scenes? Is it... You know, is it busy? Is it learning oh. all the medical jargon? And yeah, the medical jargon. I mean, season one, that was like, whew, that was really intense. Um, it, it just is like a second language, though, and it's a muscle. So you're, we're used to doing it now, so it's gotten a little easier. Um, but off set, like on, in between takes, me and especially Nick Elfis are always like cracking up and playing jokes on each other because when the content is so heavy, yeah. you got to like lighten the mood for a second, you know, off screen. So we do that pretty well. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I feel very, very, very lucky. Oh, it's like a family. It like is a, a big family. Yeah. Okay, so we're now in the holiday season, and yes. I'm obsessed with Hallmark during <laughs> that time. And you have a Hallmark movie coming out. I do. Tell us all about it. Uh, it comes out this Sunday, November 17th. It's called Right Before Christmas, and it's about this girl, Jessica, who has a love for Christmas. And she ends up going through a breakup, and it kind of um, taints her Christmas experience. And she had gotten these five cards to send to her now ex-boyfriend, so she decides to send them to the five most important people in her life. And through that, she finds herself again, finds her love for Christmas, finds maybe possibly love. I mean, it's a Hallmark movie, so <laughs> hello. Um, and it's great. She plays the cello, so I got to play cello. It was just um, a lot of fun. I got to work with Chad Michael Murray again, which we go back from the oh, OTH, yeah. One Tree Hill days. So it's a lot of fun. Wow, great career. It seems like, and, and you're probably just getting started. Seems like everybody loves you just like your character. You're so sweet. Thank you. Just yes. getting started, right? We're yes. all just getting started every day. So is that, like, I always wonder that, because, I, I mean, you're starting the acting thing, too, or continuing mm -hmm. with it. Is that, like, a goal when you're an actress to be in a Hallmark movie? I can only, <laughs> you know what I mean? I can almost, it's like you, I made it. I got a Hallmark movie. <laughs> it's so great. No, there is that, um excitement when you're like especially when it's a hallmark christmas movie right because you know you always have that on in the background you're always yeah. playing it over the holidays and there's it's just a novelty it's become such a novelty with so much nostalgia to it and stuff i just yeah it's, it was really exciting yeah. being here in los angeles I'm, i mean half the people here want to be movie stars right <laughs> yeah. what advice would you give someone that's trying to break in and really go there 
I'd say be relentless because, you know, you get told no multiple mm -hmm. times a day. The amount of time I feel like a working actor has been told yes is very slim compared to all the no's. And, you know, I've seen waves of people come in. I've been in L.A. for almost 18 years now. And, you know, you just got to get back up every time and just keep trying, keep studying, keep reading good books, keep reading right. good plays, go to class, like watch good movies, bad movies, good plays, bad plays, just com and also sacrifice. Yeah. How many times could I not show up to my best friend's birthday because I got a last minute audition the next day? Mm -hmm. And you'll see the difference. There's some people that will go out and forego studying for the next audition and then somebody that will stay home. And I'm telling you, work ethic is everything. So right. in films, I did a film recently, had several sex scenes. Thank oh, you. Stop it now. But I want to be better and more convincing at it. So what tips could you give me? <laughs> for a sex scene? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the first you know question. Do you, have, you, have you had a lot of them? No. Um, I've, I've not had a lot, but I've definitely had some, and they're always awkward, right? right. Like, even if a guy's hot, you're like, even no. sorry, I'm about to lick your neck. No, and also, like, as a woman, you can smell the makeup on them, and that is initially just, like, no. Oh, right. So you're saying guys right. with concealer are not sexy? I mean, to me, no. Maybe to other people, but I like <laughs> rough and tough, you know what I mean? Like yeah. woodsy guys. Yeah, they're, well, they're not really wearing concealer. Well, thank you but. so much. That's the best <laughs> advice ever. Thank you. And we're going to tune in this weekend to see your homework. Thank movie. you. And we'll be right back after this.